Ramble. Thank you to Etsy and Chip Station for sponsoring this week's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm one of your hosts, Becky, and I'm joined by Matthew. Hello. We have Rachel on the pod today. Hi. And we've got Rainy on the ones and twos. Hello. And today we are talking all things spring cleaning. Time to clean it out. Start over. Start fresh. Start over, isn't it? <laughs> Start over. <laughs> Matt's getting rid of Eugene. All over again. <laughs> the, throw it all out. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. Kidding. Marie Kondo, everything but brings you joy. Make sure it's not dusty. Did you <gasps> not see dusty. the latest from Marie Kondo? No, what she did. She said it's too much. She's like, I can't do it. <sighs> she said, it's hard. It's and hard. I quote, after the third kid, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, preach. <laughs> I could see it being a challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All that stuff. But mm-hmm. how many days into spring are we? Well, I mean, the spring, like the spring menu out. is at restaurants. So I think we're... That's true. Okay. So we're in it. Yeah. Spring that's, colors. That's when you know. Yeah. It's when the, the <laughs> menus at the restaurants is spring yeah. menu. When's the spring equinox? That's a thing? I don't know. I do love an equinox. But mostly... I do too. I, but it's mostly summer. at the gym. Yeah. Is there a spring one? There's gotta there has be. to be. There's gotta There's be. Gotta be. Let's look it up. Pagans rise up. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us. Mm-hmm. Guys, where do you think this idea of needing to deep clean and declutter and um, donate things at this time has come from? Were we like in hibernation during the winter? Yeah. You layer on in winter yeah. and mm-hmm. then you layer off in spring. I think in winter it is. You kind of like hibernate. You're getting like comfy, cozy. Mm-hmm. You want all your things around you. Mm-hmm. And then you just have so much stuff. And you're like, ah. You're ready to like yeah. open the windows, yeah. declutter. Gotta air everything out. Yeah. Spring cleaning. Have you started? I did. I did yesterday. I cleaned my casimir sweaters. Oh. To be put away. Nice. Yeah. I like That's to clean true. them before they go them. in. So I have these two sweaters that actually Rachel has one of them. Um, which is how I found them. You use them. mothballs? You put in the mothballs? I'm going to put the mothball, mothballs in the little box with them. You have a box? Yes, we have boxes. Mine are just in my Ooh. drawer all summer. Oh, ours, ours I have get little, packed away. I have like big plastic things I put under the bed. You know, the yeah. ones zip up. Oh. ours go out in the garage. There's a thing. I don't like things under the bed. Oh. Except the boogie monster. Well, you know, I don't. I can't see him. <laughs> it makes me feel cluttered if I can't see under the bed. Yeah. Is your bed that, that tall sense. that you can like see under it? My bed is really tall oh. because my beds are not tall. You would never um, notice. Clementine, her safe space is under the bed. Oh. So every bed Doggy frame I've gotten since she's been around in the last decade has been tall for that reason. I started fireworks. the spring cleaning out of the closets, like cleaning out all the clothes, trying to get all the winter clothes away. Mm-hmm. Do you guys That's- both trade your closets? For mm-hmm. winter to summer. I mm-hmm. actually usually always have my summer clothes there and I just add the winter clothes. Yeah, later. I guess that's true. You know, I never it, I don't really take the summer clothes out. Because yeah. you never know when we might have a warm day here. Yeah. In the winter. I would say it's mostly my dresses that go away. Mm. Like things that maybe cost a little more money, I'll fold up and put away. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like tank tops, shorts, things like that I'll leave out. Uh, exactly. Um, but I'm a big, yeah, clean out the closet. Mm-hmm. Don't like looking at the clutter. What's your least favorite spot to clean or like your least favorite cleaning activity? Oh, bathrooms. So I too. don't do I it. I give it to Watts. Oh. I hate cleaning bathrooms. the bathrooms. Let's go. See, I hate dishes. <sighs> I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Love loading a dishwasher because my way mm-hmm. is the right way, but <laughs> hate unloading it. That makes sense. Mm. I hate every part of the dishwashing and dishwasher. You don't experience. like loading it. I don't like loading it. I don't like unloading it. Yeah. I don't like. But do any you of it. cook? So Keith does the dishes. Is that the deal? We both kind of do it together. Okay. Yeah, but I, I would say team. I cook most of the meals. Yeah, but I don't touch garbage. That's my like. Like Keith's never touched the inside of the toilet bowl. I've n- I've never touched our garbage unless Keith's out of town. <laughs> I was just going to say, he was keeping out of town for a while. Piles yeah. up. <laughs> I, I he will goes say, home and it's just overflowing. There were about two weeks there where I was like, well, I'm the only one here. So like, do I really need to take the garbage out today? No. <laughs> and Maybe. so the garbage man skipped our house those two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you oh just boy. weren't making a lot of garbage. No, I was like, I'm Makes by myself. Yeah. 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 Easy. I really hate putting away laundry too. I don't mind, mind doing the laundry. I don't mean fold, mind folding it. It's no. putting it back I have to do place. that because if I don't do it, all the drawers end up like a raccoon went through them. Chaos. Like Eugene just like folds is just like. 
Um, you know, he just like rumples it up and stuffs it in and then shoves up the drawer. <laughs> He's so sometimes I'm like, I can't get the drawer open. <laughs> He's less good than June and Poppy. They can fold. Eugene Whoa. doesn't fold. You got to get yeah. him one of those retail I know, that's what I was like. folders <laughs> that's what I to make it easy. That's actually so what I thought of doing. you can just put it in. Yeah, that's what I thought of doing. He would be so mad. That's funny. He would not <laughs> use pissed. it. That would end up in the trash for sure. Yeah. For oh, 100%. Sure. Do you both do your own laundries or do you do everybody's laundries? How do you divide laundry duties? Everybody. I do everybody's laundry too. And Eugene just started... Because he's home writing a lot now. So he's actually started doing oh. laundry activities too. Yes. Because that's nice. You know, sometimes you need a distraction or a couple of minutes not in front of your computer. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, well, there's some laundry there. There's some dirty <laughs> dishes. You know? I used to do everyone's laundry and then we had two children. Mm. And now I do my laundry. Um, the nanny does our girls' laundry mm. and Watson does his own. You guys have separate hampers. Oh. Watson and I have a joint hamper that has a division in the middle. That's kind of nice. It is nice. His clothes also get dirtier than my clothes, and my clothes are more expensive and delicate than his. I don't want it. You wouldn't trust him to wash yours, is what you're saying. Mm, yeah. No. <laughs> Things have happened. <laughs> Sins have been committed. <laughs> no. Sins. And then anything that's really important to me mm. of the girls or a knit or anything goes straight into my hamper and I mm, handle all that. Mm-hmm, but yeah. like we, I usually wash and pop into the dryer, the girls clothes and like kitchen stuff every day because mm-hmm. children are dirty. So much laundry. Yeah. yeah. So much laundry. It's so much laundry. And the nanny, um, our nanny usually folds that and puts it away and the girls help fold and put it away. Oh, that's cute. Do so the three of them song? tack. No, but oh. they clearly mm-hmm. learned something at school because they'll go fold, fold, roll tap the ends in roll tap the Mm. ends in and i didn't teach them that they're like where did you hear that and that's also not how i fold laundry but i'm not about to like correct them i'm just like bravo bravo put it (laughs) away perfect i do so keith does a lot of the folding and then the putting away though every once in a while he'll come up to me with like a tank top and be like how do you fold what do you do with this and he like turns (laughs) it around and he's like where's the top or like a jumpsuit he's like this is like a baby outfit where does it go but it's big (laughs) yeah and then i also have like certain shirts like this harry style shirt that i really like i don't fold i hang it up yeah but i have other big t-shirts that i'll fold and he's like i don't know the difference between your folded t-shirts and you're hung up. I do that too. And no one in my house knows. So if yeah. my laundry's in the dryer and Watson or Kimmy like do it, they'll hang up a PJ shirt and then they'll fold like a nice shirt. And I'm like, who is making these decisions? <laughs> but it's just in my OCD brain. Yeah. You're 100%. the only one that knows. Uh, yeah. It's weird. So you do other spring cleaning activities. Like do you do the house full? Like on like one weekend or something? No. no. Oh. Do you? Yeah. Of course he does. But not all at once, <laughs> like over time, you know, like over like so, maybe like Okay, a month. how do you I'll organize this? Do you say like once April is here, once March is here, do you have a checklist? Do you do the same things every mm-hmm. year? Does it's it usually change? usually over the like it gets so bad I'm like I need I just like explode. I'm like I have to do this right now. Uh, you know, and then I'll like start and then it like starts the process. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz I clean out all the cl- closets for closets. Mm-hmm. Clean out the closets. Hey, closets. hey Midwestern man. <laughs> clean out all the closets first. A Chicago 15 over here. <laughs> clean out all the closets What's your first. real voice, Matt? Let us hear it. What's your real right? voice? It's probably like the upstate New York accent. Oh. Like, accent. Yeah, yeah, accent. Yeah. You know, from back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, do, I clean out all the closets first. Okay. Mm. You know, because then smart. like just purge all the things out, make sure everything's put away. And then start like stealing to stealing to floor mm-hmm. and then floor. stealing what are you doing yeah. on the ceiling well you have like the oh, cobwebs yeah you have like the cobwebs and like the fans so like really give them a good wash down and stuff and then all the windows and the window treatments and then the baseboards and then we have like plaster walls so every, something always needs like fixing because it's like cracking you know mm-hmm. it's just like oh yeah old houses I heard mm-hmm. a good tip for your clothes in your closet to see which ones you like wear, don't wear, is to put them all, like a, whenever you start this, like let's say you're doing spring cleaning. Mm-hmm. So all of your clothes hangers need to face the same way. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. when you wash your clothes the next time, when you hang it back up, turn it the other way. Because it mm-hmm. shows that it was something that you've worn. So you can see what you haven't worn all So you time. can see what like, yeah, if you give yourself a deadline of like, okay, two yeah. months, three months, you can see which things you really didn't grab. Yeah. So it's not about what gives you joy. 
Not about what gives you joy. It's about what utilitarian you use. Mm. But some yeah. things I just like to have, even if I don't wear them that much. Yeah, it's that's true. true. A statement piece. You know, mm-hmm. you can't wear that every day. Well, you can have a couple. Yeah, yeah. we'll make exceptions for those coats, coats. <laughs> jackets. But, like mm. they say, fashion, you know, always comes back around. You mm. know, and don't you love having like things from like your grandparents or something? I don't, I don't have any. You don't have anything. My grandparents. Yeah. Do you have? Grandparent clothes? Like ties and like I guess I have tie some pins scarves. and like stuff like that. So it's like, would you save anything thinking for banking oh, for the I future? Would save those. You know what I mean? But Tim like thinking Poppy now. are not going to want my clothes. You don't know. People are wearing the <gasps> crazy 90s stuff like right now. I they would like your clothes. You don't know. Maybe. They're going to think I'm lame. You know they're going to think I'm lame. Yeah, but then when they're like 25, maybe they'll be like, maybe oh. Maybe they'll come around. Like, they'll be like, you were less like, lame wow, than I thought. Like, wow, mom's clothes were like really cool Mom's and these really are like... Cool. Vintage. That's true. Now. Yeah. Okay. I still close yeah. for my mom, even though we are like proportionally wildly different. <laughs> like I look like I could have eaten my mom. <laughs> Eat like she could stand behind no. me and be fully eclipsed. <laughs> Kim. I mean, Kim is very Kim. petite. Yes. She's very petite. But that means that like some of the clothes that she wears, she likes things to be not as like form fitting everywhere. Mm. It means like for me, I could I'll be like, oh mom, I like this tank top, and it looks like a slutty little tank top on me. <laughs> <laughs> my boobs are like uh, busting out. And she's like, I guess you could keep it. <laughs> Thanks, she's mom. Like, okay. <laughs> or maybe one of them becomes a fashion designer one day and then they could repurpose. Yeah. Or a drag queen. Stuff. You are making an argument for things I want to get rid of instead of donating, making a box in the garage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For- Future June and Poppy. I really like, not instead of donating. I mean, still donate your clothes. Like, that's very nice. But um, going to friends. Like, I Mm -hmm. gave Rachel a bunch of dresses that I was like. Oh, yeah. A huge selection of dresses. Well, you know when there comes a time where you're just like, okay, I need to let go of this. I'm not going to fit in this anymore. I fit in this four years ago, and I loved it, and I wore it. Maybe a few years down the line, it will come back to me. It will come back to you. I'm like, why would I keep it in my closet? I was like, Rachel, you're so much shinier than me. Do you want to wear these? (laughs) And Becky and I have the same style. Little does Uh, everyone know. It's pretty identical. We do a lot of shopping at the same places. Uh (laughs) Yes. No, I had a friend who had a donation party. So she set up in her backyard Mm. and everyone brought their clothes that they didn't want anymore. And they like laid them out so you could like shop. Oh, and you just shopped each other. There's like a kind of a swap meet type thing. So you could like shop each other's and then everything was left. She brought to Goodwill after. Oh, that's, that's a really good, good idea, right? I would love that. It's a good time to get together with friends, have mm-hmm. some, you know, cocktails, appetizers. Yeah. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, I like donating to Out of the Closet. Out of the Closet's oh, yeah. good. Uh, Housing Works in New York City is very similar and is really good. You can also look at if you're donating things like suits or ties or like um, dresses or what someone would call quote unquote more professional clothes. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of homeless homeless youth shelters that will take okay. them. For the kids when they go do like job interviews. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, spring cleaning. You didn't. What What's on your checklist? So Tell I don't. Me what you do? I feel like I don't have a checklist. I just like. No, you know what I mean. It's just like that no. is the checklist. Pull it out like, of your brain like, and tell us. Like, like you just start from top to bottom. So first, okay. first you have to declutter. You have to just put everything uh-huh. away, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't even go through like all my kitchen cabinets and stuff mm-hmm. until a later time. It's more mm-hmm. just like all your closets and like things in your space. Mm-hmm. You know, because you all have like that like, like one counter that just like piles up and gets everything on oh, it, or yeah. like uh, clothes on hooks that have been there for like months or whatever. You know. <laughs> So you got to put all that stuff away. You got to declutter. Okay. Got to get it all done. Declutter your life. Declutter <laughs> your life. Excuse me. <laughs> and then start top to bottom. So literally getting rid of all the like cobwebs, clean all mm-hmm. the fans out, make sure all your walls are in good shape, wash all your baseboards. And then I also do the windows on the inside and out of the windows. And then also the window treatments. So we have like blinds. So you have to like, because sometimes, you know, they get like smuts on them dusty. and like dusty and, and flies. And how do you clean your and, windows well? Because like... Are you like using Windex and so newspaper? Outside, I have like a squeegee. Okay. I use like mm-hmm. the hose mm-hmm. and then I squeegee. Okay. Yeah. But then inside, inside, I use just like microfiber. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With like Windex or I use, I make my own with um, like white vinegar. It's uh-huh. like a white vinegar solution. Okay. Works you ever well. use any of the, like, have you seen the, Clean talk hack where you take newspaper. No, I've and never you tried clean that. your windows and your showers with it because I've my never mom tried used that. to do that when we were little. Mm-hmm. I remember. 
Also, like, how many newspapers do you have at home? I know. <laughs> I, like, I, have I no would have newspaper. to go buy it. I would also have to go buy Windex because we try to use, like, less chemical-y stuff. Yeah. yeah. I love Windex. It is the only thing that will clean my mirrors. Yeah, it I've is. I've tried. Spray spray. I've tried. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wish bed making in the morning could be automated. We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. I have a friend who started a jewelry business after college, and she was just manually setting up her orders and mailing them from home. But she discovered the ShipStation free trial and quick setup, and now she is completely obsessed. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Effortless integration everywhere where you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. With industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use my promo code to try ShipStation for free for two months. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code SITWITHUS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code SITWITHUS. I love shopping on Etsy.com for my parents. Shopping for parents is really hard, so getting a little personalized gift for them is a nice breath of fresh air. Etsy sellers have gifts, style, and home pieces like rugs and sofas, as well as outerwear and accessories. I like going to the print station, sometimes getting some cool editable versions of some invites or thank you cards. Shop all sorts of products like jackets, jewelry, furniture, and more made for all budgets and any occasion. I got a very nifty fruit hammock. My fruit can just suspend in the air, get lots of airflow. I love that. New to Etsy? Use code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That's code NEW. Maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For home, style, and gifts, shop Etsy.com. Etsy has it. Big fan. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. But I saw someone, I feel like it was this one lady who does like, she reacts to like cleaning videos and she was talking about the newspaper trick only works with like certain types of newspaper. Because oh, it's about the coating that's on the newspaper, oh. not as much as like, oh, it, have, like a it being a newspaper. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. And I've seen people polish with parchment paper or like wake wax paper. Yeah. Polish their like faucets. At one point, Becky, I remember you like washing your sheets in the bathtub. Yeah. What's that? What? Well, every once in a while, I want to give them a little soaky soak. Yeah, mm. it's stripping them. Stripping Strip- them. Yeah, they call it like stripping, but you could use something like a harsher, like a borax type thing, right? Yeah. What is borax? Mm. It's like a crazy, if you don't like chemicals, you probably won't like borax. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, like I just have those tiny children and one of them has actually both of them in two different ways have very sensitive skin. Like one of them you can't use any of the baby soaps with Mm. just this one because they irritate her skin. Um, So, you know, everything's like all free and clear and no sense and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But now I just use like OxyClean. Wait, does does stuff come off of the sheets? Yeah, it just soaks. Oh my gosh. Does the water turn gray? Yeah. Ours doesn't. We oh wash our we wash the, our sheets more than those people. The ones on TikTok, they the water turns like almost black. Like it's like yeah. dark brown. It's so yeah. gross. It's but like they do it with icky. all different stuff, like pillows, pillowcases, like yeah. You, know, yeah. you name it. People will soak it. Like when I was in college and when I lived in New York City, up a like eight floor walk up and had to go to a laundromat, I washed my sheets like once a year. <gasps> like oh my no gosh. way. Yeah, that is it a was, bar. It was like just too expensive, too hard. Mm. It was just like too work. much. Yeah, maybe like twice a year. I never wash my sheets. Well, we oh, for na- clean. we have the cats. Yeah, and they sleep in the oh, bed, well, so I would die if they. We wash them about once a week. Yeah, I get like one to every two weeks, and then like probably every six months, I'll take them off yeah. the bed, stick them in the bathtub with OxyClean, and just leave them there Clean. for like okay. six hours. And that's also because, like, I mean, they're cats. They have, like, shit on their butts sometimes. <laughs> so, like, sometimes a mystery stain will come up, and I'm like, Dirty. okay, is that Alfred didn't clean himself well, or did I eat, like, a candy bar in bed and a piece <laughs> fell off? I don't want to take the risk. Like, is it blush or is it? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Oh, my God. Speaking of blush, I need to know if you guys have any tips. I, for the fourth shirt 
in like two weeks have spilled makeup on a white shirt. One no. of them, it came off Why with bleach. Why are you so clumsy? I don't know. <laughs> My hands don't work. I don't know what it is. Like this morning, I was. it was literally this morning, I looked down and there was blush on my like boob. And I was like, oh, how did you get here? And it wasn't like, I mean, it was like maybe a $10 white tank top from Target. But like but one still. of the other ones was like, I got this like white tank top that I was like so excited for from Cezanne. Mm. Oh yeah, the French company, the, Fran- the Parisian, the Parisian girl company. We all want to be, and I <laughs> wore it to death for like, I've had it for like six months, seven months. There's this tiny, singular dot of foundation on it. Oh, oh that's okay. You can still wear it. I know, but, but I can you see know. it, and yeah, I know, you know where it is, and I'm like, layer. Ugh. layer. And so I got bleach for the first time. I've never had bleach in the house mm. before because I was always really scared. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I was like, I'm going to ruin you everything. Yeah. So I soaked them. I soaked all the shirts for like Don't five hours, long, not, in bleach. Bleach. Okay. not in bleach, not bleach. I soaked them in oxy right? clean. Okay. And then I got, they sell bleach pods now that okay. you can use. And so I threw it in with the bleach pod in the wash. Did it come out? No, no. And I don't know what to do. And my dry cleaner you know told me if you wash a stain and it doesn't come, like if you get a stain on your clothes, you should bring it to the dry cleaner first. Because if you wash mm. it, it's going to seal it into the clothing. Uh, that sounds so like, like some I, dry cleaner propaganda. But okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning. It's true. <laughs> I'm going to need to put like white out on it. <laughs> I do do this. If I get a stain on something and I wash it, I pull it out of the washer and I check. And if it's still stained, I stain stick it again. I don't let it dry. Yeah. Oh, I keep it wet. That's a good dry. idea. Yeah. Um, and also sometimes it depends what color the the stain is, mm-hmm. but if you add bluing to the water, oh yeah, you like the little drops of bluing solution in it. Sometimes it'll like make it not look as, you know, well, make it look brighter, mm-hmm. so it won't look as you know, it won't stand out as. I much. think we yeah. should like indigo tie dye your tank top. That's what I was. That's saying. what Matt actually said because I, I said, told him about she's it. She's like, how do I get this? And I was like, stain it or let's I was use like, the I whole can't shirt. Get this out. Let's use some um, avocado seeds and tie dye them pink. Yeah. That would be we fun. We could try it. We At least with the, the cheap one. I'm the always... Blush stain. Stain. The blush stain. I'm work. always questioning, like, does the stain last in the shirt, then, with the avocado seeds? Oh, I don't yeah, know. How many times do you wash it? Like, do you wash it, out? and then it comes out on all the other things in the wash? Or, like... Uh, I don't think Does so. it stay on there forever? I don't know. To fade Let's over find time? out with this tank top. Yeah. Let's find out. I have one tie-dye robe... That was, it's called like ice tie dye, is what she did to it. And that doesn't come out on other clothes. Yeah, I think But I, I don't a know. I've never tried it. I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Me either. Never tried Today's it. Today's the day. Yeah. Well, maybe not today, but soon. <laughs> Sacrificing the tank top. Um, yeah. But bluing is a good idea if you what need is to make it brighter. Um, it's, it's like a bluing, I forgot the name of it. It's like, it comes in a bottle like this, and it's like very, it'll, like you have to dilute it in water. Like it, a couple cups of water, probably like two cups of water, you put like a couple of drops of the bluing solution in it and you throw it into the wash mm-hmm. with your your clothes and just do it as All normal. All of them? Whatever whites. Whites. Yeah. And what does it do? Whites. It makes them and look it makes, more white? Because mostly whites don't look white anymore because they start to look more yellow. Mm-hmm. So this will add the blue tone to that so then it makes it look whiter. So it dyes them? It like kind of dyes them a tiny bit, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't, I, I forgot once. I was just like, put a couple of drops in, and I forgot to like <laughs> dilute it, and then they were stained blue. Like you had blue shirt. I'd throw them out. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. It was bad. So you have to you definitely have to dilute. It. Yeah, do it the right way. What okay. other tips do we have for for stains? I feel like one that every person who menstruates learned cold early: water cold for water. Blood. If or if you want to be a murderer. Um, cold okay, water okay. will get blood out of anything. People fall and hurt themselves. <laughs> cold water for blood. Yeah, if you get nosebleeds, mm-hmm. cold water, take it out immediately. Um, blue Dawn dish soap, the original. It's out so much stuff. Gets out so much stuff, it's especially so much stuff. oil or like grease stains, because that's uh, actually what they use to wash the little, the little, the little animals and the, and the penguins and the oil spills. So sad. What a sad life we <laughs> yeah. lead. Yeah. But we did learn that Dawn dish soap will take literally okay. everything out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. I mean, OxyClean, like you said, is great, but OxyClean works the best in really, really hot water. So it activates oh, the most, like the hydrogen peroxide or whatever works the best mm-hmm. in really hot water. So nothing that could shrink. I wash everything yeah. on like cold. I mean, it helps in cold too, but not as, yeah. it won't be as effective. We learned a couple months ago that 
nothing washes hot in our house. It all washes cold no matter what we put it on. <laughs> really? <laughs> because I had a shirt that shrunk and I was like, or I had a sweater that shrunk. And I was like, Keith, the washer is broken. I was like, I put it on cold. I put it on delicates. There's no reason. This, it went in for like 10 minutes. There's no way this should be shrunk. And he was like, yeah, when I took out um, my clothes the other day, they were warm. And I was like, oh, it's only warm water coming out. It's not cold. And then we got the you know, washing machine man there. And he's like, nope, that's literally impossible. It's I'm pushing it right now. And it's only cold water coming out. Yeah. He's like, even when you hit hot, it's cold. Well, oh. my washing machine does the opposite. Even when I say cold, it comes out warm. So I'm just like, I'll wash everything on cold because it's not that cold. Yeah, Crazy. Really? Yeah, we have weird, no control. Why, why did your weird? shirt shrink then? I don't know. You weren't so supposed weird. to put it in a washing machine. Yeah, maybe. Is my guess. Dry clean only. That's how they get you. Cashmere yeah. says dry clean only, and I'm telling you, I washed them. They're yeah. fine. You do like the delicate cycle They're or fine. whatever. Well, well, I hand wash you them. You hand wash them, I think. Yeah. And you don't squeeze them. You like lay them flat on a towel. Yeah. So if you have cashmere wool, you want to wash it with either like a very specific uh, fabric cleaner that's mm -hmm. for cashmere wool, wool yeah. or you can use your shampoo because mm -hmm. wool it's and hair. cashmere is hair. So oh. I did a little bit of shampoo and a little bit of um, OxyClean. And then you only submerge it for like 30 seconds. Mm. Like I literally put it in, lightly agitated it, flipped it over, lightly agitated it. Yeah. And then you kind of fold it into a little ball and then you run it under the water and then you just squeeze that against the side and then you lay it down on a towel. And then she said to take the measurements of everything and I was like, I... I don't know how to count. Like I literally didn't. I'm like, I don't I know. I can't measure anything. I can't do this. I can't measure this sweater. And then you put it on a towel and you take the towel and you roll it like a little burrito or like a little joint. Yeah. And that gets all the water out. And then you lay it down flat and shape it. And then your cats come and sit on it. And With then their it's booties? Clean. With their nasty booties. And then it's clean. <laughs> do you hang anything out to dry like in the sun? Like outside? Inside. No. Near a window, but oh. not outside. Like sometimes I do outside. Just I like think a nice everything thing. in my backyard gets covered in like soot. I just oh, soot. like not soot. Um, everything in my backyard over time, like the furniture. Even and it's stuff. just one day. If you put out there for a couple hours to dry, like your sheets. It's, no, but the sheets like, always I feel smell like, so good if you like put them mm -hmm. out in like the sun and the wind and stuff. You know. I feel like with the freeway not that far away, mm. it's not as clean as I oh. want it to be. There's like a lot of air filters on our house. Mm. Oh, you know, sense. I like doing like jackets, like my leather jacket, I'll turn inside out mm -hmm. and just hang for like a day. Okay. I did scare the shit out of Keith once when I put a bunch of sweaters <laughs> out there <laughs> and he thought it was people. He like came home and he's like, ah! <laughs> everyone's out there waiting. Yeah. I was like, they're waiting for you, Keith. <laughs> so good. Well, we have some questions, mm -hmm. audience questions Keith's about Jensen. cleaning. Oh, this was a funny question that I thought because I like thinking about what the viral products are. Mm -hmm. But someone asked us if we use any viral clean talk products and are they mm. worth it? And they listed Scrub Daddy, the pink stuff, and Barkeeper's Friend, which always makes me laugh because I've been using Barkeeper's Friend since Forever. like college, since yeah. like high school. That's just like what your mom told you to put like in your sink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't so know I'm what like, pink so stuff funny. is. I've only seen it. I've never tried the pink stuff. I haven't tried what it either, it? but I, I have seen it like in... Like at Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff. Yeah. Like well, they sell it in the store. It's like stores. a little tub and you're supposed to like scoop it out. And then the most. It's of, like a cream. Yeah. Most of the people that cleaner. I see use it, use it on um, the glass. What do you call the stoves that we have? Oh, um, they're yeah. induction. That, yeah. That the type ceramic of ceramic. Tops, right? They use yeah. that to clean it. Uh, yeah. Okay. And not have any like streaks. But then other people use it like in their showers. On so and, much stuff. Yeah. People use yeah. it on so much stuff. Okay. No. I haven't fallen prey to any of the TikTok <laughs> Well, products, we have Scrub like. Daddy sponges. I was about to say, we're Scrub Daddy house. I don't think that's from I've TikTok. I just think that's from life. That's from Shark Tank. That's yeah, from Shark Tank. That's from Shark Tank. <laughs> Once he showed you that you could put like Shark a Tank pot talk. on it and it wouldn't shrink, I was like, wow. wow. That's Whoa, nice. That's for me. <laughs> that's cool. Don't they also sell like a soap too, the Scrub Daddy? No? I think they just came yeah. out with one. There's yeah. this... Um, Cleaner I follow. She's a housekeeper on TikTok, and she was their first product sponsor ever. Ooh, and I think she like her. launched the. I think her name's like Vanessa Moreno, maybe. And she um, showed how it worked, and I was like, ah, because she has really good tips. I like following housekeepers to be like, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So when a professional comes clean your house, what do they do that's different than what I do? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Those sponges are the best sponges. Oh, I've never, yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever even used one. Oh. A scrub daddy? Never use a scrub daddy. Okay, it's very well, it's brittle. Time. Just yeah. always use yeah. it's like very a regular spoon. Sharp. Yeah. A spoon? Oh, a regular sponge. sponge. Yeah, a, a regular sponge. sponge. I'll get you one because I think what you'll I'll really you like one. it for is the liquid, the, the liquisse. Oh, okay. um, so if you cook something down. like dirty in your liquisse, mm. it's really nice because if you put it under hot water, it's squishy like a regular sponge. But if you put it under cold water, the one stiff. side stays hard, oh, and then so hard. it's good scrub, for scrubbing. Scrub yeah, Dang. and the little mm. top of the head of the face is like extra scrubby. Because oh, there's yeah. little ridges. So you guys are... We love... Hashtag sponsored by Scrub Daddy. I was going to say, you guys are <laughs> Scrub Daddy. 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 Sam's over here. Call so us. I don't really make a lot of TikTok. Do use the TikTok. Yes. Yeah. And then Barkeeper's Friend. I mean, again, use that for years. Mm-hmm. Although How I do... How often do you use it? Barkeeper's Friend? Yeah. Whenever I need it. Whenever I need it, yeah. I'll use it on pots and pans. I'll use it on... I try um, to be judicious because it feels strong. Yeah. Yeah. I use it on the sink. I use it if something's like... Grimy. Yeah. Really? What's your favorite thing to clean? Like what brings you the most satisfaction? Probably vacuuming. Whoa. That's true. That's crazy. I hear that one. I hate vacuuming. (laughs) That's crazy. I hate it so much. It's (gasps) so heavy. The cord is always in the way. I feel like it doesn't do anything. Well, this is the other question though. You, You just mentioned a cord. Yeah. What is, someone asked us what the best vacuum is. Yeah. And I would say the vacuum makes the experience. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> um, yeah. So you're saying the robot vacuums, the one where so you saying, don't have to experience yeah, the vacuuming? Right. <laughs> I think like if I could have asked for a present when I turned 21, I yeah. should have asked for a Dyson vacuum mm, because yeah. they changed my life. Wow. Fully changed. I don't even sweep anymore. I just vacuum. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's okay. Well, I mean, that is insane. I, yeah, I don't even know when I was in my other place, I didn't have a vacuum and I would lint roll my rug because I was just like, it's so dirty, but I don't have a vacuum. That seems so hard. Yeah. I took uh, every once in a while, I would take the office vacuum to my apartment, Mm. but then I couldn't figure out how to clean the filter, but that's a personal issue. Um, (laughs) But I, now I have like a cheap lint roller seems yeah. yeah. Harder than like even a, little dust buster yeah yeah, yeah. well the dust buster didn't do anything the tiny one like oh. the handheld the shark it yeah. just like it was too it flopped too it many flopped. i think it was also the carpet strands were too big so oh, too it, it, it was too oh. hard for the shark. Carpet. yeah Bad. a shag rug yeah but yeah. what's so you're the dyson i'm Are a you dyson, all dyson girlies no i'm not a dyson girly are you I have a Dyson and I have a shark. Oh, damn. It's got all the above. All the above. I don't have a shark either. What do you have? I have some German brand. Electrolux? But <laughs> like I, what my grandmother had. I have some German brand and I don't know what it is, but it's like the little capsule one and it mm-hmm. has the long hose and then you go around and it kind of it follows you. Oh. Yeah, it has a cord. Oh. Oh, I hate cords. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, no, I'm a no cord girly. Um, but I also have to vacuum every single day. The cord... <gasps> Doesn't bother Cat. me. Cat. Oh, the kitty cats. Oh my gosh, They'll kill Becky. me. That's why I like. They'll that that's why I like time consuming. Vacuuming because mm-hmm. with the animals, the hairs everywhere, so you like really see. Like yeah. it's immediate. Uh huh. And it's the sounds like immediate. Yeah. Yeah. It's more. Yeah, like, I don't like mop the, the old floors house, every day. So yeah. dusty. You get the dust bunnies. You can like get them all up. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I will walk Life around changing. and just. Sh- 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 I yeah. do the couch. Sh- 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 yeah. It only takes like eight minutes, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I only have to change where the cord plugs in once. Mm. So I start in the living room. Mm. I go halfway through the house. I move it to the kitchen. I do the other Would half. Would you ever have those vacuum systems that are like integrated into your house? Oh, like, where you sweep to a thing? No, and then where you, it like, goes, you like put a hose on You can put a hose on it too. And it's like a house vacuum. My parents have that. Does that look cool or no? So you Does don't it see it. Cool? My dad it. like installed one when I was in like high school or college or something oh like gosh. that. Dumb. And do I still see my mom sweeping and using a vacuum? Absolutely, hundred percent. Wait, she doesn't use why? So, where does the trash go? Where does the debris go? I think it goes to like a it goes central into, spot. like a thing. Yeah. And then do you have to empty that? I'm sure you have to empty. Yeah. It. So there's like little. Okay. They basically look like little flaps, and that's what you can just if you're sweeping, you just sweep it into. But then mm-hmm. there are also these little things that look like plugs in the mm-hmm. wall and you lift it up and you hook the hose to it 
and you vacuum and it and just then it goes away. Shoops through your house. Yeah. And you don't even need the whole machine. You just need the hose and you can just do each room. Yeah. And then there's like a suction machine through the walls of your house. Yeah. Somewhere. Through the pipes. Yeah. That's wild. I'll ask him and Don. Wild. Ask. Whoa. They're ask here Don. this weekend. I'll um, record them blown. explaining how it works. <laughs> I don't mind know if blown. I like that. <laughs> I don't like the ideas that the walls of my house are filled with the trash of my life. You know, well, it goes out. It, it goes somewhere else. It's like yeah. what if it's it gets stuck. It's, it's not just insulation. Into a pipe. It's just in a pipe that goes to like a <laughs> dump spot. You know? They use that instead of. It's not just the, filling your yeah. filling your walls. It's instead actually what it's like, like it's cheddar actually, bunnies. It's actually and, what insulation yeah. is made out of is <laughs> you just trash and clem fur balls. Yeah, we yeah, used yeah. um the confetti cannon for the girl's fourth oh birthday gosh. party yes. and vacuuming up the confetti was a true highlight of my cleaning was, experience. You posted that video and it was did, very <laughs> satisfying. Did, did, did the girls satisfying. use like little dust buster? No. What they do right now is they grab the attachments from the vacuum and pretend mm. to vacuum. And then they take turns with the actual vacuum oh, with it cute. on. Oh, I would love and them to take there turns. There is on my house. like, <laughs> There's like a little. Like, you can get under the couch. <laughs> get, get under there. It's like snow piercer. I'm like, I need a little kid. <laughs> Come okay. on, clean the vents. Uncle Keith's gonna hold you up. <laughs> We're gonna play the fun game. Crawl through the vents. <laughs> I like attach Swiffers to their whole body. <laughs> Talk around. about a little dust bunny. Oh my god. <laughs> They're sneezing and crying. Yeah. I no, they're going to say it back in. They're going to love it. <laughs> There's a little secret hole you can get if you want slightly less suction. You just flip it down and like mm. it comes up and it sucks from there. Oh. And so the girls will, while I'm vacuuming, will run around and grab like, you know, grass from the Easter baskets or a clim <laughs> dust ball thing. And they love for me to open the little thing and they go. <laughs> <laughs> disappears. Magic. Yeah, it disappears. It's like very fun for them. Slurp. What mop do you use or do you mop? I have like some organic Swiffer that's not Swiffer. Some like less chemically Swiffer. It's like a Swiffer. Yeah, but what's really great is the um, piece that goes on the bottom is like a cloth that you throw in the washing machine and then you dry and then you use it again. Oh. I like the good old fashioned mop. Oh, but like into like water. Of the mop. Yeah, I, you're a big I mopper. Do like the, I think it's called like Cedar O or O Cedar. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. The and red it's one. Like, yeah, it's like the red one. So it like, is a different, it's kind of like a different system. So you don't have to put it in the same water and like everything. Yeah. So it's like clean water. But do you have like a mop bucket? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to have but all that. It's so clean. It's so much better. I swear. But this sprays a little thing and then does it. And that feels good. Mm, well, come over and show me the difference. Not the same. Come <laughs> prove it. Um, prove it, prove it, Matt. Prove it. You're just going to get a, another mop in the mail and your old mop's going to be missing. Your old mop's going to be missing. <laughs> the L's Where is it? it? <laughs> I'll lift up all the rugs. Come over. Yeah. We use a bone. I think it's called Bona. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what we use is. a Bona. Yeah. We have so the Bona So it's not too. the one that you spray anything out of. It's just oh. the duster because we don't have real wood. Our oh, floors we have a Bona are, that you spray. Yeah. Our floors look like wood and they kind of feel like wood. They did a pretty good job, but they're not wood. Yeah. They're like, what Engineered do you call it? Engineered laminate. Or yeah. Like. Laminate. So you're not supposed to get it wet that often. Oh. So I'll take like a wood spray. Mm -hmm. every like three-ish weeks and it attack it that way. But you don't want to put water on a uh, oh, laminate. Yeah. Old-fashioned yeah. mop really does it, you know? Gets it all up. Really does so it. So that's your favorite thing, mopping? No, vacuuming is definitely. Vacuuming is. And what's yours? What's your favorite thing to clean? Probably that. I would say, yeah, probably vacuuming as well. And I like doing the wood. I like polishing the wood. I think mm -hmm. that's very clean. And like polishing mm -hmm. the stainless steel things. Mm hmm the chrome. Do you have any ideas like about that. how to keep spaces cleaner for longer? How do you keep your house cleaner for longer? So you don't have to clean as often. Ugh. You're like, don't have kids. Don't have pets. <laughs> don't have children. Yeah, right. Don't have cats. Well, <laughs> live alone. <laughs> <laughs> live We've alone. all got advice. Be a hermit. <laughs> Although, you know what I do hate is I had to have like a chat with Keith. Year, this was years ago. About the fucking shaving oh. thing. Yes. That's what I I'm was like, of. you cannot. And now, so Keith, I gave him a little mirror and he has it in the shower and that's where he shaves. Cause I was oh. like, I cannot get, there are these tiny itty bitty hairs well, get that ready. get in everywhere. And I'm like, Rebecca, get out of here. Do you know what Keith has to shave tonight? I thought you don't shave. I didn't shave before laser. You know, you're supposed to shave. Oh, this laser machine, you shave. 
Oh, okay. I was like, I was told not to shave before laser. So I was like, probably a different machine. Then. Yeah. I don't know. It's a surprise. Did you no, shave before laser? No, it's not laser? a surprise. What laser do you think he's getting? What would maximize views? Either his butt or his coochie. It's his butt and his coochie. <laughs> his butt and his coochie. He's got, Keith doesn't have a lot of hair. They're not going to be, it's going to be, and it's done. But it hurts so bad, right? Yeah. I haven't gotten it, but I've heard like, no, it's like, intense. it doesn't. It doesn't? I would liken oh. it to like. Depends what your pain tolerance if you is have, probably. Yeah. If you have a sunburn and someone's taking a rubber band and snapping it against the sunburn. It's like it a hurts pinch. less than oh. that, I think. So okay. I'm pretty sensitive. Yeah. And so where we go, where we're going tomorrow, like they'll, they'll do it in the same spot being like, does it feel like a rubber band? Does it feel like a rubber band? And we get to wherever it feels like a rubber band and she comes down one. Oh, okay. So it doesn't hurt me at all. Oh, that's oh, nice. That no, well. mine hurt me. Because I think the first time I got it there, I was like, no, that's too much. No, that's mm. too much. Oh. And it's still very effective. So yeah. you just oh. have to like find your tolerance for it. But like I would say mine literally does not hurt at all. That's crazy. No, mine hurt. Oh. And mine didn't work. Oh. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe you got maybe maybe a couple sessions. Maybe, maybe I had a switch. switch. You got to do a couple sessions. Because mine works. Yeah. And so we find that rubber band snap feeling and then we come down one. And Ooh. even like while we're going. So this is a good tip on how to keep your showers and your bathroom clean for longer. <laughs> it's laser. laser hair removal. No, mm -hmm. you don't have any hair. So you don't have to worry about your hair at all. At all. <laughs> not, not clogging the drain. Nope. Um, one other one is changing your HVAC filter. Oh, See, yeah. you're doing stuff that because I assign that, like, to my will husband. Help with the <laughs> dust. That will help I with the dust in your house. And if you get your ducts cleaned like at least every couple of years. My ducts? That's what I'm going to yeah. bring the kids over for. Quack, 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 and you. Yeah. No, quack, your, quack. your HVAC ducts, your ducting. My you know? ducklings? Like if okay. you have like a central air system. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, listen, yeah. Matt. That'll help with the dust a lot. You're going through a whole thing. I did notice the other You're day. You're going through a whole thing. In the kids' room, we have a little air purifier that's yeah. going mm -hmm. all the time. And right around the base of it, their little carpet um, has turned a little bit gray. And I was like, oh. From all the dust. I mean, I changed the oh. filter on the air purifiers and the water yeah, filter good. and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and I like on our house, I think we changed They the have filters. attachments that you can do the little vents yeah. with. That's what I like. I just go shh, because it's mostly cat hair. The ceiling vents. Yeah. The cats really plague your life in terms they of cleaning. They plague my life, but they're so cute. <laughs> yeah. They are so yeah, sweet. Yeah, how about kitty? I feel like kitty litter. Kitty litter. I know someone I like asked, someone disaster. wrote in like, how do you keep kitty litter from getting everywhere? And like the answer is you don't. You have mm -hmm. to vacuum every day. Oh. You just have to mm -hmm. deal. I think that's you just have to like do it. Aren't though those like uh, what like cleaning itself litters? Yeah, we have one. Oh, but it's still. Oh, well, I guess they kick it. They and they, they and it tracks. It's called tracking. It gets on their paws, oh. and then when they walk, yeah. And like Alfred, uh. our sweet little chonk is mm -hmm. like kind of maxing out the size you can be to get in one of those litter boxes. <laughs> so he comes That's out so and we cute. call it. He's living the yeah, good life. We call it poo poo dust. It. And his oh head, God. he'll come out and he's got black all over his head oh and his gosh. face is white. And his black hair will be like <laughs> oh. salt and pepper. Because we no. use like a um, like a corn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like I've a, seen those. Yeah, it's or it's one of yeah. those that yeah. is maybe you need for to set up a whole system. Like you know, when they come out, the fan turns on and like and it like <laughs> sprays them, <laughs> like dust them every, down, so it all gets them. it off. Grandpa yeah. Barry is actually not bad about it at all. He really doesn't. He has, still has like he kitten hair, maneuver. even though he's like a year old. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he doesn't shed that much. Alfred, mm. if we don't brush him for a while, like we tell him he looks like a dirty street cat. Oh. Like he gets really puffy. Uh huh. And just like unkempt. Oh. Raggedy. He's is raggedy. Grandpa Barry, is he less kitteny? No, he's the devil. He's still the devil. He's Satan, the but devil. he is so cute. He's oh. just like the cutest little munchkin. And while Keith was away, I taught him if he wanted to be picked up to walk over and put his hands up. Oh. <laughs> oh, but he funny. only wants to be held for like a couple minutes. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's not like so the most sweet. affectionate cat. Yeah. When I had the mama cat, she I I realized at the end of her tenure at my apartment <laughs> that she did like to be held, but you had to force her into being held and then she yeah. got really happy about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was playing like party get or something. Yeah, my dog you have to like force into a harness, yeah. but she does want to go on a walk. Yeah. But yeah. you Aww. really you have to manhandle her into it. She yeah. doesn't want a harness, but she wants to go on a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like a too much emotion, overcome with joy. And then they're like, I have to yeah. overcome. Well, I, I think know. she just dislikes a harness and she's like, maybe oh, yeah. we can go for a walk without one. And that is not true for her. No. She cannot. Aww. 
Little bubs. Yeah, I would say yeah. vacuuming all the time, as much as you can around their thing. We also well, have a little pad that kind of scrapes their yeah. feet. You also just have them. to learn to be okay if it's not perfect with mm-hmm. animals. Yeah, but it'll, you can clean. Litter's not hard to clean. Yeah, that's true. It's like a vac, it's a quick okay. vacuum. Maybe I'm talking about children. <laughs> I was like, they're pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. You just have to learn to be okay <laughs> yeah. with more mess. Yeah. Yeah. And put the litter by a window if you can. Mm. Oh, so you can oh, open yeah. my window. Big, is I would have yeah. even in like the winter, their litter window is like a crack open. Yeah. Because so I was it like, just smells better. Yeah. I was just it's like events. traumatized oh, as a kid events. by like other people's houses smelling mm. like animals. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I would literally like cry if someone came in my house. That's why I got rid like, of my last couch. I can tell they're smelled cats. like dog and I couldn't get the smell. <gasps> yeah. Like, Too to go. many dogs. No matter how many times I cleaned it. And Matt's also got a That's sensitive you have a lot of dogs pee-pee now. nose. Three dogs. Four you have dogs. a sensitive oh. pee-pee nose? Yeah. Yes. As soon as I walk he in, can I can smell, smell it. it right away. I'm like, someone peed in here. Oh. We were sitting on Eugene the couch. Nuts. We, <laughs> he gets so mad at me because I'll walk in and be like, someone peed. And he's like, I didn't say anything. I've been here all day. I'm like, That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> That's we a problem. We were sitting on the couch. We've been sitting and here and you haven't smelled it all peed. day. And none of us knew it. We were like, No, nobody peed. Matt's like, There's pee. There's pee here. There's and pee. He like looked around. Dog he's like, pee. there it is. Oh, oh my god! This gosh. is your superpower. Yeah. Dog pee. Matthew it's probably I'm just pee-pee. so traumatized because I had to clean it up so much. Yeah. yeah. What's What's new with Emma and Kimbop and Pesto? So Kimbop has a death wish and likes to eat things that he shouldn't. Okay. Right. So we had this issue before where he ate a bunch of chocolate. He like um, that's not good. Dug into a bag that had. Chocolate oh, that was no. packaged in like a package to be sent via USPS mm-hmm. and ate a bunch of chocolate. We had to rush him to the hospital. This was like a couple months ago. He had to get his stomach pumped and throw it <gasps> up or whatever. Oh. He had to be monitored, blah, blah, blah. And then he ended up being fine. Well, last week I had made some homemade veggie stock just from like scraps. And I had, and after that it like kind of smells. So you don't want to like have it in your house, mm-hmm. all the refuse. So I'd put it in a bag outside the door and it was pouring rain. In LA, mm-hmm. so I didn't want to go all the way to trash can, so I put it outside the door to bring out when it stopped raining. But then I kind of forgot about it, <laughs> and then the next morning, Kim Bob got out there and dug through and like ate all the gross vegetables oh. that had been sitting there. But in veggie stock, there are onions, there are onions, onions and there is there's there are yeah. a couple of drops of garlic and onions and stuff. So he ate it, and I didn't really think they would be that bad because he threw everything up like almost immediately, uh-huh. and then he threw up a couple more times that day. But then at like three in the morning, oh, no. we heard him in his in his little crate where he sleeps, and he was throwing when he was throwing up blood. <gasps> and I was like, "This is oh, not good." So yeah. I was like, "Maybe the onions were worse for him than I thought." Yeah. So I had to rush him to the doggy hospital at three in the morning, and oh. there was nothing they could. He, since he had already thrown everything up, it was already all. Yeah. They couldn't really do much more except like yeah. monitor him. Yeah. But I guess for dogs, there's something in onions that actually make their red blood cells like explode. Oh my god. So yeah. then they become anemic and their gums like turn blue and stuff and they're not getting enough oxygen and Yeah, it can oh make god. like their blood vessels like yeah. expand and it's crazy. sometimes like yeah. So it's burst. it's really not good for them. Like it's yeah, it's, it's honestly really kind of worse than the chocolate experience. And then it can happen after he ingests it, they said it could they, he could show decline over like up to five days after he had ingested. So the for onions. a week so you were scary. just on edge. So yeah. So for a week oh I was like God. constantly checking his like little gums and like, is it, oh. do they look less pink? Like, yeah. And then he had to go in and get several blood tests because they do like a blood cell count and like a smear to make sure that they look like you're the trying right to make sure he's not like shape and stuff like that. So he has a death wish. So it sounds like he a eats very everything. Cheap Garbage experience. monster. <laughs> really cheap. Very expensive experience. Do do not recommend. <laughs> Keep onions away. Yeah. Just throw it into your trash can so he mm-hmm. can't get it. That's what I learned. <laughs> well, also we moment. have like a big syringe and hydrogen peroxide yeah. um, on site for like more like the chocolate experience yeah. where you can make them, you take the syringe down their throat, pump in a bunch of hydrogen peroxide and then they'll what? vomit. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. So in a cat that. for yeah. Yeah. dogs. You have wow. to do it like, because if a dog ate soon. a bunch of raisins and if you have toddlers, you have raisins. Um, for example, you don't really have time necessarily to yeah. go to yeah. someplace. Um, mm-hmm. And also it's a lot more cost effective. If they vomit it all up, then if they don't digest yeah. it, then if you they have like really one, have a problem. If they oh, got, kept one little thing in their system, they're really fine. But if they have yeah. like 10, you want to get They're out like of a it. Pack. You know? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm sure over 
the last four years, Clem has had one at least, you yeah. know, but... Mm. Um, Wait, have you ever had to do that? This no, okay. I haven't, but it's actually... just in case. My sister-in-law did with their dog. Really? She has two kids and yeah. definitely... And Zoe was like, I don't know, 20 pounds or something. She was smaller and she ate like a pack of raisins and they had to hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Do you know what else can makes your dog throw up? What? Is um, washing powder. So like if you have like powdered laundry detergent stuff. Uh-huh. You like get it a little wet and you put it in their mouth and like the feel of it instantly makes them throw up. Oh, wow. Oh, that that seems crazy. not that safe. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like where this conversation has gone. Well, it's, well, if it's going to save your dog's yeah, life. So true, we just have the life. syringe and the hydrogen peroxide on yeah. hand because some dogs are deathly allergic to raisins and grapes and other dogs aren't. And it's not by breed or size. Mm. Um, it it's is genetic, like, huh? yeah, it's just genetic. So you mm. don't know. So you just have to go for it. My dog at home could eat. He once ate a whole pan of brownies and he was fine. Yeah. <gasps> Nothing. Champ. I know. He's Champion. like oh, has an iron stomach. Oh, well, yeah. also, which you probably don't know if your dog hasn't eaten some poisonous, <laughs> but you have to call like a special doggy poison hotline or animal. And then you pay $80 like, oh, for them to advise you like over the phone. It's like 85 to $95. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I did that and when Clem ate brownies. You. The vet yeah. will not treat you unless you have a case number from them. <gasps> what? So even before you go to the vet, you're already supposed the to have this. Scheme. Big yeah. doggy pharma. Wait, I want to get back to a very important question because I think we're all pretty clean people, but mm-hmm. some people are not naturally organized or clean. Right. Mm-hmm. So what are some like tangible takeaway things people mm-hmm. can do if it's not in their like Real ability house. yeah, to like be clean all the time? I say just do little things here and there. Mm-hmm. Little things build up over time, you know, because mm-hmm. some people like me, I don't like to do little things. I just like to do one mm-hmm. big. I get yeah. like I get like in a cleaning rage, you know, and I like <laughs> he blacks it like out. builds up and I have to like clean, clean all day long. <laughs> Where a lot of people, if they just can like clean the countertops one day and then yeah. you know, clean the the window in the bathroom one. Like, you know, like just like piecemeal here and there. Mm-hmm. Where it just takes like a minute. Yeah. Yeah. How do you guys up. feel about like cleaning up after yourselves immediately versus doing the big clean? You're a big clean. Do you guys, which ones do you guys do? Depends on the area. I feel like my like makeup and skincare area. Oh, yeah. I'm really bad at cleaning up after myself. Like mm-hmm. all my makeup from putting on makeup this morning is still sitting out on the counter. Yes. But food, <laughs> I would say I'm a little better at putting away. Yeah. Quicker depending on the day. Yeah. yeah. But I do a timer. I'll like put on a timer and be like, okay, if I... Yeah. Put on a timer for 10 minutes and I clean for 10 minutes, then I can go on TikTok for five minutes. TikTok is like, the reward. You're like, yeah. you give yourself TikTok or like do something. Yeah. Or I'll be yeah. like, okay, if I do this for yeah. 15 minutes, I can do this. Because mm. I will say that, yeah, like cleaning up after yourself or you clean or after you cook doesn't actually take 10 minutes at all. I, yeah. but I hate it. I like, cause I'm a big, big clean, but my roommate is like, I don't like when there's like dishes at all. Mm. And I'm just like, oh, this is kind of intense. <laughs> and so, but I've gotten into it. Yeah. And it doesn't, it's kind of a better system, except I hate it. Do you think she would be okay with you doing... I a call it chore? well. I call it the boomer bucket because I think most mm. of uh-huh. our moms do it, which is a big bucket in your sink. Yeah, that you fill with water and soap. Yeah, and you put your dishes in there until they're ready to go into Ooh, the. I could definitely. Dishwasher. I feel like I'll, I'm gonna pitch it because I feel like, like your roommate might food, not get mad right? at them. Well, you have to get the you you have to you gotta take the food off it. of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I would yeah. say that she probably won't compromise on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say scraping the food off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'll see. But then you'll I'll have see. a bucket and then you won't even really have to look at the dirty dishes because they're going to be under the water. Yeah. You know, and maybe that'll bother her. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, yeah. Until you do it. Yeah. At night. Yeah. I know what Eugene does because he hates to clean and I make him do the dishes. He'll listen to a podcast. So he'll put like his headphones in to like distract him mm. from oh. the work that mm-hmm. he's being forced to do. He's being forced <laughs> to do. <laughs> well, I have a parent tip which is I only clean when my children are awake. When Mm. they're asleep, that's time for me. Mm. So I only clean. You'll start to think like, especially when they're babies, you'll Mm -hmm. be like, oh, the babies are sleeping. I can get this done. You can do dishes and vacuum while your baby's awake. Just wear them or like the girls Mm -hmm. trail around with me. So like once I put them down at night after working a full day, I'm tired. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to then like Regroup clean time. up the dishes and stuff at like 7, 30, 8 p.m. So I get them in their PJs and I do it before they go to bed with them while I'm chatting with them oh, um, or whatever because 
only do stuff while your babies and toddlers are sleeping that you can't do while they're awake, which is like, read your book, watch your TV shows, eat by yourself, go to sleep, do some drugs, (laughs) invite some people over for an orgy, do some, I don't know. I'm trying to think of more bad things. Watson has such an exciting life. Party animals. Um, (laughs) Uh, you know what I mean though? Like mm-hmm. that's a chore. You do your chores while the babies are awake. And don't do drugs while your kids are sleeping. Or yeah, don't, don't do, do drugs, drugs while your kids kidding. are sleeping. I really meant more like <laughs> we were joking. <laughs> like run a bubble bath and pour a glass of wine and read, you know, a quart of thorns Just and roses. Saving some time for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You did remind me of a question though. How often do you clean your bathtub if you're taking baths? I clean my bathtub before I take a bath every time because I put my dirty children in there every day. Oh, But yeah. I don't clean it every day. It gets cleaned whenever Watson cleans that bathroom. Yeah, I do the opposite as I clean the bathtub after I take a bath every time. Well, you have to do that if you use bath bombs and stuff, but I specifically don't use bath bombs because they get my bathtub all dirty. Okay, I don't use bath bombs because UTIs, hello. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, but I clean it right before I get in because mm-hmm. they'll literally be covered in like paint and yogurt. And I just dip yeah. them in that bathtub. <laughs> so I feel like it needs cleaning before. Yeah. What do you do, Matt? Are you before or after? Or you just don't take baths. You don't, don't seem like a bath I don't take, man. I take baths every once in a while, but not that often. I feel like building things calms the, you the down. The thing what I do the bath. most in the bathtub <laughs> is actually water my plants. I put all the plants mm-hmm. in there. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. Mm. But then I clean it after that. I don't like a bath to get clean. I like a bath as just an experience. Dirty. <laughs> I like okay, it for like you're no longer invited to the orgy. <laughs> I like it for the relaxing experience. Yeah, but yeah it not feels to... good on my muscles, but I'm yeah, not. Has... I'm not accomplishing. I might do like a a face mask, but I'm not accomplishing. Like I'm not shaving my legs. I'm not washing my oh, hair. Oh, I shave my legs. You do? Yeah. It's I don't want to so do much work. Easier. Oh, I have a in bench in my bar. shower, so it's uh, really easy. We have no bench, so I just feel like I like mm. will shave one leg and then stand up and be like, "Whoa, I'm dizzy." <laughs> <laughs> like pass out I was in like, the oh, shower. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> do this anymore. Um, do you want to hear a crazy shower horror story? I don't know what happened. Um, so I was in the shower, and this was. I'm scared. Last, I think it was like last year, maybe two years ago. And I had been using for about like four years metal razors. Mm. So it was like a razor that's um, you take apart and then you put just a straight razor blade. Oh, that's what Watson in the middle uses. of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good because I get really like ingrowns. Mm-hmm. I get yeah. like contact dermatitis. Just laser it away, I get. Yeah, I'm telling you, I tried. Rachel, I went. Come, <laughs> come back with us. Come I back. went. <laughs> I did the seven I'll sessions. We'll go together. <laughs> Just laser your whole body. Just laser it all. Laser everything off. But wow. I had this um, razor blade with the safety razor inside of it. And I was shaving my armpits. And I went to do something. Oh, wow. I think I felt like the top was loose because I could feel it kind of move when it was under my arm. So I went to adjust it. Oh, no. And went oh, the no. wrong way. Oh, no. What cut? Oh. oh and no. sliced my no. whole thumb. Oh. And so then I'm... I like take a minute and I'm like, <gasps> and like scared because I'm like, what did I just do? What do I do? And then I started screaming for Keith and he comes and he's like, what's wrong? And it's just like blood is going down my hand. And I'm like, Keith, I got my hand out of razor blade. What do I do? Oh and he God. came over with a towel and he's like, it's okay. We've got this. Aww. And I like still had like conditioner in my hair. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what to do. Oh, that's so but that scary. was and to the I that was the last time I ever used a metal razor with a safety yeah, yeah, blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, after that, hell no, I can't no, do it. No, no, no. Because no, I really had no. never even really like nicked. I would nick myself every once in a while with mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Had never done anything bad, and like, Mm-mm. yeah, just that one experience was like so fucking traumatic. <laughs> it Shower. is. And seeing the blood everywhere. Uh, uh-uh. uh, uh. Uh-uh. And also, like, like you're it. naked. You're, like, naked and wet, and you feel like I don't know what to do. And I, like, didn't want to get out of the shower. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to run around with blood. Yeah. So so if you like hearing about blood and vomit, apparently this is the <laughs> podcast for you this week. Clean talk. Clean AKA talk. Animal vomit and yeah. blood. It's got to get dirty before you can clean it, you know? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, Does anyone have a friend who's an obsessive cleaner? Like someone who cleans all the time? Yes. 
but they're not my friend. Well, they, they're my friend uh, now. Yes. Now that they're we're not my friend. Now that we're adults, she said we could be friends. It's my mom. Oh. <laughs> when we wow. were younger, she specifically told me we are not friends. I'm your mother. And I was well, like, maybe this okay. is a better question then is what cleaning habits have you inherited from your parents? Mm. shame and guilt if someone walks into your dirty house <laughs> yeah i we were raised Definitely the that. same i think <laughs> yeah. a lot yeah. of shame and guilt mm -hmm. yeah like you've never come over and it's been messy no you no. have to be like well surprise guest. you have to be like yeah. a blood a blood blood brother or something to come into my <laughs> house blood relative and have something be like not clean out of order yeah. Mine is definitely my mom clean rages, rage cleans rage. too. <laughs> like she would come home after work and stuff and it'd be like, everyone's going to bed. And then she would like get the vacuum out. And like stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, I do the same thing still. I do the same thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, after phone calls with my mom, I have to clean stuff. It's like yeah. deeply ingrained in me. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's mostly just the people coming over or like seeing mm -hmm. your house. Like I mm -hmm. love those videos where they're like what my mom thinks is happening when people come over and it's like you open the door and someone runs in and they're looking under your couch cushion yeah, 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 <laughs> they're looking yeah. under the bed yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i really don't like people seeing my house dirty i know and i just don't like my house being dirty but see, were you always clean uh-huh because i was filthy as a child like mm. I, my parents called me pig pen no, I, was always <laughs> I can't believe they called you that. They called me big pen. <laughs> I mean, I was like terrorizing them. Like I knew if I wait, if I waited my mom out, she would clean my room. <laughs> like I knew if uh, I just if yeah. one more day passes, I was like, I know she'll go in there. Oh my God, that's fine. I know she'll. Are you do okay it. with your mom cleaning your room? Because I feel like that would be very. I'd be like, whoa, what's in there? I don't even know. No, when I was a kid, I mean, now I'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah. Um, but no, when I was a kid, yeah. I mean, I literally left like my best friend Natalie was t joking about it the other day. Like we would literally, I don't know how we didn't die. We would, there would be like leftover food in my room and like a cup uh -huh. and we'd put it all together and like bet each other to like eat it. Oh, <laughs> Ew. No. <coughs> okay, that is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that is beyond like, what I thought you were going to say. No. I thought you were going to say bet each other how long it could sit there. I was like, you would eat it i was like violently what? dirty as a child i was not clean at all Even you earned my... you earned that nickname you <laughs> yes, earned it. Pig ben you earned offensive it. to me i absolutely was pig ben and um, like especially even like during college post-college i was still really like a foul like so sorry to my roommates that i had oh. before <laughs> keith <laughs> like even still to this day, I'll be trying to get ready for work and trying to get breakfast stuff to like cleaned up before I take the girls to preschool and they're having epic meltdowns. And I have to remind myself that if all the dishes don't make it into the dishwasher, if they're in the sink, it'll be okay. Yeah. I have to be like, mm -hmm. it'll be okay. Your children are sobbing. You need to get to work on time. It'll be okay if your makeup bag sits out. Yeah. Because I don't like that. I don't like leaving like it'll that. It'll be okay. Oh yeah. But Everything then. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Just don't eat it later. No. Don't eat the makeup bag no. later. Don't eat the makeup bag later. No. Don't do it. And with that, thanks so much <laughs> for cleaning with us today on this episode of You Can Sit With Us. Remember to be nice to people. Be nice to yourself. We learned that from oh. Kelsey Dara. Yes, she be nice to it. yourself. Be nice to yourself. Oh, I you know, love that Find one. joy in the things around you. Tip your servers. Pee after sex. Get vaccinated. And get cleaning. Get cleaning. You can clean with us. You can clean with us. Until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.